Welcome to My Life on Paper. I am Brianna. Welcome to Sketch Sunday, where we all use the same sketch. Uh, today we are using a sketch by Jennifer Gagne, and she is Kay's mom on YouTube. I will have her information listed below. We are also playing along with Get in Shape. That is with Shannon Blinn, where we're using chevrons, so that'll be fun. And then also Baby Got Scraps, uh, Kristen, Kristen Scraps started this and we can only use one 12 by 12 and the rest will be scraps. So here's my 12 by 12. I went with Christmas. This is going to be a really loud layout. I'm warning you now. So um, I took a chevron background, which I probably start, should have um, used maybe a solid color because of all the chevrons I'm going to be using. But I jumped in with a uh, both feet first, isn't that the saying? Um, these are pictures from Christmas. We went to a candlelight uh, service at church, and I'm using Jennifer's sketch, and I <laughs> use my chevron punch, you can barely see on the right side, um, to do four colors. Um, once this gets all laid out, and I won't have you watch me do um, all of it, because um, that would take a long time, but I end up taking off the white because it is just too much going on. But in the beginning, I do get them all laid out with all the colors and I will um, adhere them all together. The um, Pretty quickly, you're gonna see too that I'm gonna go with only three stripes instead of the four just because it is so much going on. So I go into all my scraps, the greens I had to kind of piece together. And now with these red pieces, I'm trying to figure out what's big enough that I can um, map my photo with because uh, I am really sticking with the baby got scraps and um, you only using scraps along with the chevron paper that I have there as my 112 by 12. So I try a different couple things for the background. I think can I you know can I use the white to back the photos which I will do um, and then I don't end up using that one red piece of paper. The other thing is I was trying to keep the reds similar in, in shade of red. Uh, the reds that I used is that, that's already with the chevron is a basil and it's got the polka dots and I love polka dots. Um, it's got shiny polka dots. I don't know if you can really tell that with the chevron or not, but it was a nice red, so I used that. So then I trimmed down the white for mats and I will get my photos on top of those. And then from there, it's a matter of finding out the rest of the matting pieces for the, for the photos. One good thing with this layout, with it being so busy, is that I won't need much embellishing at all, so that's a good thing. So the white mats are cut, and then I'm gonna use this red piece of paper to do another mat for, for the photos. And then, I think, <laughs> and then from there, I will have more background, but it just, this was, this took a lot of thinking. It was rough because it's just, you know, <clears throat> that's a very particular shade of green. Um, and again, it, there's so much going on. So the, the red, I had enough red to back the photos. Um, those are a little bit bigger than the white. And then here is another piece of paper that goes with that chevron in the back. Um, and I do believe I use it, but it kind of gets lost, honestly. So in the meantime, I'll adhere the white to the red, which is kind of cattywampus there. Get my photo down, cattywampus again. That uh, title there, Duck the Halls with Boughs of Holly, I will completely forget to use that and it will not have a title on this page. <laughs> After all the, the stuff, you know, it's just really loud. I think, I, and I thought about, I could put some kind of a title on it. It's going to have a companion page with more of our church pictures. So I think my title will go on the companion page for this one. It's not often that I do that, but I certainly will for this one. And you'll see when I complete it, I think a title would get lost in there. There's a picture of Meredith, my middle daughter, with her candle. And then I did take a picture. We were ushering... Uh, for our church service, so we got to actually light the can, you know, not light all the candles, but um, light the ends so that people could light them. And um, I got a picture from the back of the church. 
and I think some of these pictures are going to move kind of around but right now I'm kind of eyeing it up to see how small can I make this piece of paper so that it doesn't overwhelm the page and here's where you go oh boy you really lose that don't you I don't have a scrap piece of that green paper to back it with um, so I'm trying to think what should be my next option do I want to back it with white um, that's it's a lot of white on there already so I didn't think that would help um, oh and you can see I moved the pictures around here so the single camera candle goes in the middle and then I did this on accident, but if you look, my husband and I, myself are on the right and we're looking into the page and Meredith is kind of looking into the page the other direction. So these turned out perfectly without even me thinking about it. I like it when that happens, as opposed to um, it, happening, it not working out. We're looking the opposite ways and later I went, oh, I got to move these around. And I, you know, I keep measure, putting that little title in there, but it doesn't, never does make it on the page. So I'm going to show you how I get this first bunch down and the green gets nestled I think in the middle because they are all getting pieced together and I figure you won't be able to super tell that by the time I get all those four colors down. At one point this this green is one side is textured and the other side is not and the one side is a little bit off from the other side. So I actually glue the wrong side and have to peel it off. And there you go. Yep, you glued the wrong side. <laughs> so I have to peel it off and try again. And that happens, right? Especially when you're trying to like be efficient and get things done. Um, I am at a scrapbook weekend this weekend. There's lots of snow in Wisconsin. We made it here safely. I am now doing voiceovers and I'm all ready to go. But uh Things don't always go as well when I'm trying to be fast with them. And here's the third layer. And, and I think I like this look. I do, uh, but not for the chevron paper. It's a little overwhelming. So here you see all four of the strips like is in Jennifer's sketch. And I'm just going to trim off my ends. And then I'll try to get my photos down again and go, oh, this just isn't working. And some layouts are like that, right? You know, you try this, you try that, it's not working. It's not going to be beautiful every time. It's not going to work out the first time. It is a lot of trial and error, and I'm okay with that. That's all part of the learning process. Meredith looked at this completed layout at the when I was done with it, and she really liked it, and I went, but it's so busy because of the background paper. And she's like, you know what? I didn't really notice that until you called that out. So <laughs> maybe it's better than I even thought it was. But I, I love the brightness of the colors. That's always my thing. If I could use bright colors on every layout, I think I would. I don't, and I do like a little variety. Here is my um, Tim Holtz serrated scissors that I absolutely love and I can't say enough about. Okay, so here's the pictures. <clears throat> oh my gosh, what was I thinking? What am I going to do? So I think right away I do peel off one layer underneath the photo, so at least... There's that. <sighs> but I think, I think, I, oh, here, okay, so here comes the white. And I go, oh, I don't really like that. I don't think that helps. My bright idea is to get, and then I think this would have worked, but I get a green out. It's not the right green. I thought I had every shade of green. Apparently, I don't have a green green because this is not a green green, believe it or not. Once you put it there, I was even looking, oh, does this work? Oh, I'm going for it anyway. I don't have another option. Uh, I will not use this. <laughs> uh, I, I do have another secret up my sleeve, but um, this is how you can use a blend, blending brush to use. Um, and the reason I'm only putting them on the, around the sides is because you won't see the rest of it because the pictures will cover it up. <clears throat> so it, in theory, it would be good if it was the right shade of green. Please check below for everyone that is playing along with Get In Shape, Sketch Sunday, and Baby Got Scraps. Um, with uh, with uh, Get In Shape, we are using a different shape each week. And like I said before, we have our chevrons. And look at all the chevrons I have on the right-hand side, all those scraps. I don't know what to do with them. I'm not quite sure. Do I keep them? Do I throw them away? Here's my green. It's the totally wrong green. Oh, well. Live and learn, right?
it's a pretty shade of green. I'm not, I'm not denying that. Very pretty shade of green. So moving right along, <laughs> while I try to figure out what I'm doing, I'm going to take one whole roll right off. And this paper is so thin. Now this paper probably came from like Michael's or something in a paper pad. I've got a whole bunch. I have a lot of Christmas uh, papers and I'm trying to use them. Um, so yes, that makes me feel better, but there's still too much going on there. So that's when I will take um, every white one off very carefully. But I, again, don't rip the paper. So I was pretty impressed with myself. Um, now, if I had used liquid glue, this would not be happening. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done. I might have started from scratch. But um, because of the ATG adhesive, I am able, able to carefully pull this off and uh, take the white one off and then reassemble it. So here's all the chevrons without the white, and I'll put them back on. And it gives me more room, and it just takes another layer of uh, busyness away. And this works a lot better. Again, I still think I should have gone with a white background, but um, but I, I, I am happy with how this turned out. Uh, I shouldn't perseverate on that, right? Okay, enough said. So moving right along, I will uh, put these back on. And you can see a little bit the that um, shiny polka dot that I was talking about earlier on the red. And then I get my title out again that I'm not going to use. But, oh, so, yeah, I'm still knowing that green's not going to work. But I'm still thinking on what am I going to do. If I wasn't playing with Baby Got Scraps, I probably would have grabbed another green out and just backed it in the green. So I trimmed down the this title to make it fit better, and I still forget about it. It's all good, though. Maybe I should put it back. Maybe I should put it on there when, now that it's all done. Oh, I even trimmed it in white. There you go. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Floats around the page, gets lost in the side. So here's where I fix the back. And... Um, oh, I just flipped it over. So I, it has a design on it because it's part of my scraps. It might stole it from my daughter. It's got almost like a doodly design on the back. Some of it, there is a little bit of purple, but you won't see any of the purple. Uh, so you can mostly, you see the green. So, um, and, and even if it's the wrong shade of green, it's different. You know, it's just little bits. I pulled these, these are from when my kids were, um, probably in kindergarten and we were decorating stockies for them to take to school but they're felt and, it, and it's just a perfect little thing. I put a enamel dot in the middle of the um, kind of poinsettia or the flower type thing. And then I'll glue those down, glue those down. They each come with a green, um, with green leaves. So the green leaves get glued down as well. Oh, I had to change that to red. Um, and, uh, and that's essentially it, especially since I forgot about the title. I use my Barely Art Glitter Glue to get those flowers down. I want to thank you so much for sticking with me until the end. I hope you have a fabulous day. Find some scrapping time in there somewhere, especially with the snow we're getting in the Midwest. Have a fabulous day, and I'll see you again soon for another video.